Hope you had a good week. Uh, we are still in Mark chapter 6. This is our third week in Mark chapter 6. And we last week we were reading about John the Baptist, how he was killed, how Heroditus put her daughter up to going asking for, to have John's head cut off and put it on a platter, and just kind of how, uh, th how there was no limit to the depth of evil that she had. So this week we're going to get into Jesus' uh, a little bit of Jesus' heart, a little bit of insight into how much Jesus cares about his disciples and how much he cares about people. And uh, I'm excited to read it. So, Father, we ask God that you bless this holy word, and it is blessed. I pray that you feed us from it, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, starting from verse 30, and we're going to read up to verse 44. So, from 30 to 44 this week of Mark chapter 6. And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all the things what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. And the people saw him departing, and many knew him, and ran afoot thither out of all the cities, and went out to him, and came unto there unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, he saw much people, was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as a sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came up to him and said, This is a desert place now, and time is far past. Send them away that they may go into the far country, round about, into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. And he answered and said, give, said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, Where shall we go? Buy uh, two hundred penny worths of bread and give them to eat. And he said unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And when they knew... They said, Five and two fish. And he commanded them and said, Make them all sit down in companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks of hundreds and by the fifties. And when they had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and brake the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fish divided among them all. And they all did eat and were filled. And they took the twelve baskets full of fragments and the fishes and they that did eat the loaves were about 5,000 men. So that's 5,000 men, not counting women and children. It's only saying the men. So uh, we could be upwards of 10,000 people, you know, um, or something close to that. So we start off in chapter, um, in chapter 6, verse 30. We're starting off, and what, what we're actually reading about is the disciples have come back to report to Jesus about what their adventure was. Um, the first two weeks ago, we read about the disciples being sent out by Jesus. Now, I'm going to read it. I'm going to just read a little bit of verse 7 uh, of chapter 6. And it says, And he called unto them twelve, and he began to send them out two by two, and he gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save only a staff, a staff, no script, no bread, no money in their purses, but be shod with sandals and put on not two coats. And basically, he sends them out, and he sends them out to preach the gospel. He sends them out to cast out devils. He has trained them, and now he's sending them out to do the work of God. And where we are right here in, ver in verse 30 is they've come back to report to Jesus. And what I really like about this is you kind of get this picture of, you know, a friend being reunited with his friends that you haven't seen in a long time, and you can't wait to talk and find out everything that's going on. And you're like, hey, let's go to a private place and talk about this. And, and that's what I think we see here in, in verse 30 and verse 31. So you see Jesus saying, he says, And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all the things, both that they had done and what they had taught. And, and, he, and, and they said unto them, so he said to them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure time not so much as even eat. So they're just so busy. Jesus is super famous. It says that people came from all over all these cities out to see him. So he's like, he's like, come on, you know, let's go talk about this. Let's get some time alone. They get into a boat. They sail somewhere. But the people followed them running around the water, the, the edge of the water where they were sailing. And from all over, the cities all over, because Jesus is super famous, they came out uh, to see him. And instead of Jesus ignoring the people, it says that when he seen them, he was moved with compassion. 
And Jesus, this is verse 34, And Jesus, when he came out and saw much people, he was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as a sheep not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. And this is just the heart of Jesus. This is the love that he cannot hold back. It's just who he is. He, he, God is a loving God, and, and Jesus Christ is full of love. And he sees all these people that have need and want. And uh, it doesn't matter if he's eating food or not. He, wants, he sees these people, they're lost, and he, and he wants to be there for them. And that's who, that's who God is. That's why you know, we call him the Good Shepherd, because he does care about us. And um, sometimes it's hard to, for us to look at ourselves as sheep because sheep aren't very smart, frankly, and, and they are vulnerable, and uh, you know they're subject to uh, predatory uh, attackers, and and uh, and that's what God looks at us like as sheep. He made us. He knows who we are. And uh, me as a guy who's made a lot of mistakes over and over again, I know that I am a lot like a sheep. Whether I would you know try to want to share that with people or not, I have nothing to hide about that. I've made so many bad decisions in my life and gone down so many wrong roads so many different times that I can't help but look at myself any other way. And instead of me following men or other, pe you know, other people or even my own will that has just got me into a lot of trouble, I choose to put my faith in, in, in my good shepherd who is Jesus. And, uh, and he is. So here we just see a Jesus full of love for, for people love for his disciples, and then love and compassion for all the people that came out to him. And then in verse 34, uh, something happens. Uh, it says in verse, th oh, verse 37, I'm sorry. And he answered and said unto them, Give ye something, them something to eat. So the disciples came to Jesus and said, Look, it's getting late. Send all these people home. Let them go find uh, food for themselves to eat. And Jesus tells them, Jesus tells his disciples to feed them. He's telling the disciples to do it. And then they're like, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to go get 200 penny worth of uh, bread and, f and feed all these people? We're talking like 10,000 people. And um, Jesus says, make them all sit down. Then he asks the disciples, how many loaves do they have? And they say, we have five loaves and two fish. So he tells them to get it. And the thing that I, I really jumps out to me here is that Jesus is not saying, let me feed them. Let me show you my great power and feed them. He's telling his disciples, the ones that he just trained to do his work. He's, he, they're his students, they're his pupils. He's trained them to go and do the work of the kingdom of God. And what he's showing us here is that if we do God's work, he will provide for our need. So if we go and feed the poor and we go help people and we give, if we only have a few dollars in our pocket, but we give it to somebody who needs something, that God will provide for us. That's what he's showing us here. So the disciples only had five loaves and two fish. And we're talking about 10,000 people. So Jesus blesses these loaves, and it ends up that everybody eats. It says in the Bible that they are full. They eat to the full, and then there's 12 full baskets left over. A full basket for each disciple. And um, it just shows that God is a provider, and that, and that if we go, if we serve God, that's where God will meet us. But we start, it's, it's all about faith. So you go and do God's work in faith, and God will meet you there with the blessing while you're doing the work. Not when you're hypothesizing about how you're going to do the work. It's when you step out in faith to bless people, to help them. That's where you start seeing the miracles and the power of God. And it happens all over the world and all over this country every single day. There are people that are stepping out, and they're just trusting God, and God is meeting their need. And if you step out, God will, God will reveal himself. He'll, he'll meet your need and show you. So verse 41, and it says, And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and he blessed it and broke the loaves and gave it to the disciples and set before them. And the two fish, I'm sorry, the two fish and the five loaves he divided among them all. And they all did eat and were filled and they took up the twelve baskets full of fragments and the fish and they all did eat and the low. Uh, the loaves and were about 5,000, which we said was about, could be at least 10,000 people, you know, count women and children. And uh, just overall, that God will provide for you. He does provide when you're doing his work. So what you've got to do is you, you learn about God. You start reading, reading the Bible. You're reading the Bible now. Your prayer life starts to grow. But as you learn things, 
And as, as, as God reveals to you what you should do, you have to act on it. You go out, you start doing God's work, and you're going to see God working. He's going to, you're going to see His miracles, you're going to see His power, you're going to see His provision in a way that you have never seen before. And then, when that starts to happen for you, that's it. You're going to know that this is the real deal and that God is the... He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and your life is going to start to be blessed as you bless others. So, as we end today, I would just just ask you, um, are you stepping out in faith? Are you doing anything right now that God has put in your heart? Are you doing what God has put in your heart to do? Are you stepping out in faith? Or are you holding back? And if you are holding back, I want to encourage you by this word to step out now, because as God provided for the disciples and He filled them up, He's going to provide for you and fill you up if you just step out. God, I pray, Lord, that you would sow this word deep into our hearts and not let the devil steal it. I pray, Lord, that we would believe and go forth and do your work, Lord. And I thank you for this word, and I thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.